Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. We've got another little hover effect for you today. We've got an image with a little title on top of it. When we hover over it, it's going to pop in some content for us. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, a bit of CSS coding. Don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video. And this is really easy to do. So let's get started. I've got this page open here in my Elementor Builder. Now I've got the Pro version installed. This will work perfectly with either the Pro or the free version. The only difference is with the free version, the CSS code you write, you'll have to put in the theme customizer itself, which is if you go down to your dashboard, go down to Appearance and Customize, Additional CSS you'll find right at the bottom there. You just have to put your code in here rather than where I'm going to put it with the Pro version and it'll work exactly the same. Okay, well let's get started. So I've got a section here. It's got three little columns in it. Let's work on this one over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'll put a little text module in this column here. So let's go to the grid. Here's a text editor module. I'm going to go in there. Let's get rid of that. I'll just put in a title. And I'm going to make it into a heading three. Obviously, you make yours however you want. OK, next thing I want to do is put a little bit of content in. So I'm going to drop down a little bit. This is the what we're going to see initially over our image right here. And now I'm going to add the bit that we're going to have fade in. So I could have left a bit of lorem ipsum in there, but I didn't. So I've got it open here. Let's copy this. Go back there. And I'll just pop that in there. OK. Well, I want that to be kind of in the middle of our section. So let's go to Style. And in the typography there, I'm just going to hit Center. So everything's in the center. OK, and if you've watched any of my previous videos about image to text hover things, you'll realize that the image that we're going to see actually resides in the column itself. That's a dark tag to get in the column, a little blue tab to get into the module. So let's go into this column and do what we need to do. So I'm going to go into the column and go over to Style background type. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush icon there and here we can drop an image in. So I'm going to choose an image. Let's get a different one this time. And we'll pop that in there. And as you can see, it's sort of populated. But position wise, I'm going to have it top left. Attachment, I'm going to leave it on the default. I don't want it to scroll or be fixed. Repeat, I don't want it to repeat. Size wise, I actually want it to cover the area that we've got here. So I'm going to say cover. Now, if we hover over our little module, I know it's hard to see that writing right now, but the little blue lines here and the little blue thing, we've got some column spillage out of the top here. And this is because our module has padding in the column there. So we need to take that padding to, away and we'll replace it with a bit of margin. So while we're in the column, I'm going to go over to Advanced. Here's the margin. Here's the padding. I'm going to put a zero in the padding. So our little, little item's got no padding here. But so we can separate it from the rest of the columns there, I'm going to give it a bit of margin all around. I'm just going to give it 20 picks. Obviously, you give it what you want. That way, now our image and our module are the same size. So we can create our hover effect nicely. OK, well, the next thing I want to do is add a little background to this and change the text color to white so that we can actually see it. So let's go in here, a little blue tab to get back in the module. And we're already on the style tab at the top. So I'm going to go to text color. I'm just going to make that white. That's a little easier to see, but really it doesn't kind of stand out to me. So I'm going to add a little background color to this. So it's going to make that text stand out a little bit better. So let's go to Advanced. We'll go down to Background. Here we can add 
a background type. And again, I'm going to hit the little paintbrush and we've got normal and hover here and we're going to be using both of those. So here's the little paintbrush, hit that. We can choose a color. I'm actually going to put black in, which is too much, obviously, but I want to see some of that image behind. But I want to be able to read our writing nicely. So, so we can see the image and read the writing. I'm going to pull the opacity, this bottom slider down, until we can see plenty of the image but we can still read our writing nicely. Something like that. Just gives it a bit of a tint on the background. That's great. Well, I can read that a lot better. I want to give it some spacing all around. So again, I'm going to go over to the advance. We're already in there. I'm going to click the little arrow next to the advance. I'm going to give it a bit of padding all around. If you've got this checked, it'll do all four at once. And again, I'm going to just simply use 20. Give it 20 pixels all around. And as you can see, we're actually covering the whole of the area with our little black background there which works perfectly. So what we need to do now is make this bit disappear and only reappear when we hover on it and we want to keep this as it is. Now this is where the little bit of coding comes in. So while we're in our module here I'm going to go back to content and in our little text editor here. So to make things easier I know we've aligned our text in the middle using our style but I'm actually going to select it all in here and just hit the middle as well. And then I'm going to go over from the visual, which is the default state, to the text. And you'll notice we've got an H3, which is our title, and we've got a P, which is our paragraph text. So we can affect these differently if we give them a class or a handle that we can identify them by. So just after the P right there, I'm going to give it a gap. I'm going to write class equals. And we've got to give it a name that's going to make sense. So let's open a couple of sets of inverted commas here and inside we can give it a class name. I'm going to give it the class of TH text hover. You can call yours whatever you want. It does need to be unique and it wants to be something that you'll recognize. To me, that's my shorthand for text hover, but like I say, you can make yours what you want. Now we've given it a name, we can go over to our advanced, down to our custom CSS if you're using the pro version. With the free version, you'll have to go to your theme customizer and down to additional CSS and write it in here and it'll do exactly the same thing. But so you can see what's going on, I'm going to write it down here. OK, so we've given it a class of TH. All class names have to have a dot or a period in front. Dot TH. Then we'll open and close some curly brackets. Drop down one. And in between the curly brackets, we can write our code. So initially, I don't want to see that at all. So I'm going to say opacity or transparency or see-throughness, colon, zero. That means totally invisible. And as you can see, it's disappeared right away. And opacity can go from zero, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, all the way up to one, which is fully visible. So I'm going to take this copy the whole thing, control C to copy. I'm going to drop down a couple. And don't forget, I'll put this text below the video or this code below the video. You're welcome to copy it and use it. Now, just after the H of TH with no gap, I'm going to put a colon and the word hover and no gaps after the colon and before the hover. And I'm going to change that opacity to one fully visible. So now when I hover over it, it's going to appear. But that's kind of appearing really instantly or really quickly. I want to slow it down just to make it a little more graceful. So in the regular state, I'm going to drop down one. And I'm going to say transition duration, T-R-A-N-S, and it's prompted us down low, down below, transition duration. Just click on that. And I'm going to say 1.4. S for 1.4 seconds, semicolon. That'll slow it down a bit. A bit more graceful there. Obviously, you put in the timing that you want for yours to happen. Now, that works great, but there's one little problem. If I hover over the top here, nothing's going to happen until we get down here, which some people might miss that, because the great thing about these is when people are mousing over your site, if you do something and something happens, it'll get their attention really quickly, which is what you want on a website. So we've got to sort of fool this, make it so it 
it does it pretty much everywhere on this square. I mean, we're going to have a few gaps at the sides where we've given it padding, but we want it to do it when they come over the top, when they come in from here. So let's fool it with a bit of padding and negative margin. So what I'm going to do is say padding top, padding dash top, and I'm going to give it about 180 picks. I'm guessing the sort of top of here is about 100. Don't, I think 200 would be too much. So I'm going to go 180. Obviously, you play with yours and, and do whatever works for you. So I'm going to say 180 picks. And as you can see, that's made that grow because that's actually pushed it down by 180 picks. So it's down here. So what we want to do, unless you want to see that much of the image, is we need to drag it up with some negative margin so that if we hover over here it'll appear as well so let's drop down one more and we'll say margin top margin dash top minus 180 and i'll drag it back up again should be the size it was before but now when we hover over the top here it's appearing i mean there's a little gap but not much of a gap there little gap on the sides but not much of a gap. Now that works. If people are sort of mousing around they go over, they're going to see that. So that's pretty much all there is to it. One other thing I kind of like to do that I did on this one is make it slightly darker when that text comes in. So we can do that without any more coding. If we simply go to our background here. We set the background color for normal state. Remember we're in the text editor module, not the column. We go to hover now we can set a different one for that simply go to hover hit the little paintbrush grab the color again i'm going to make it black but i'm not going to take the opacity down as much this time i'll take it to about here and you can hover over and check it that may be a little too much still there we go that's kind of nice See, there's the original. You can see the image and the title nicely. When we do this and the text comes in, darkens out a little bit more. And that's just another thing to catch the eye. So we should be good to go with this. So if we update, hit the little eyeball to preview changes. There it is right there. Hover over. There it is. Come in from the top there it is great and don't forget to check out our other element of hover effects from our little playlist i'll put the playlist below the video we've got various different things that go go on here it's a little image morph with button and there's just a button coming in there and there's text reveal and we've got things with tabs and that's just a simple image swap so there you go guys, that is how to add a little text over image with the Elementor. And like I say, that'll work just as well with the free as it does with the pro version. And that's a nice little thing to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.